my dear friends we are going to celebrate the great feast of saint joseph tomorrow saint joseph the husband of mother mary my dear friends we read that when joseph saw the difference in mary that she is pregnant without his knowledge he gets disturbed this is what the first message we receive be human joseph he was disturbed and through this feast god is teaching each one of us in all of our lives we do get this get disturbed due to various reason various people and when we are hurt when we are wounded when we are disturbed we should know how to handle our lives otherwise our wounds will make us wounds and it will make us to wound others also when joseph was hurt he did two things the bible says number one being the righteous man he just didn't want to hurt mary on the other hand he didn't want to live with her and so he decided to go away from mary remember the, on the other hand when mother mary asked the angel you want me to become a mother but how can i become a mother without the knowledge of my husband and the lord said there is nothing impossible for god the holy spirit will come upon you and this problem of yours is a genuine problem but because you say yes to god god will take control of your problem whenever a person says yes to god maybe the things are not clear maybe you don't know how this confused situation will be handled but whatever may be the situation because you obey god because you believe that there is nothing impossible for god god himself will handle now god said yes to mother mary when mother mary said yes to him now it is god's problem to take care of mother mary who has said yes to him yes so god now understanding joseph goes to him and talks to him in the dream and makes him to accept mother mary and he becomes the father of jesus and he stands with mother mary in fulfilling what god want to do on this earth through jesus christ not only jesus christ god has also a mission for mary mission for joseph and all of our lives is to be in the world to fulfill god's purpose and to fulfill god's purpose we have to move with the thought of god now when joseph being human being disturbed he wanted to go away the lord comes and speaks to him in the dream do not do not go away do not take decision when you are disturbed this is the first message the lord is telling to joseph and he is telling each one of us in our lives many of the times we will be hurt we will be confused the things that are happening around us may not be understandable to us in those moments with our human thoughts we can't understand the things that are happening around us that's why second corinthian chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 says we can't handle the worldly problems with our worldly people or with our worldly instruments we need god's instruments god's direction god's thinking to guide our human thinking and to guide everything that happens to us that's why god appeared to joseph and explained through a vision through the instrument of heaven to understand what's happening on this earth 
Joseph was a righteous man, a man open to God, a man who knew that God will guide people. We have the good heart. Yes, he had a good heart. He didn't want Mary to be persecuted because according to the law of the Jews, any woman without the husband of hers becomes pregnant, she can be stoned to death. But Joseph didn't do that. She, he didn't make her publicly that she is a mother without my knowledge. He never said. He's a righteous man. God honors. At the same time, God wants us to join with him to fulfill his purpose on this earth. Let it happen. Let it be even big problems, big situations. We are meant to hear to fulfill God's purpose on this earth. That's why he told Joseph, don't run around your problem. Look to God and you will receive the light from God. So when you have problem, don't run away from the problem, but look to God. Don't move around your weakness. Move to your strength and there you will find your light. There you will find life. Yes, with the light of God, God says, know the fact, let no one divide what God has united. This is the plan of God. This is the law of God. When God has united, problem will come in your family. Disturbances will come in your family. But because God has united, when you cling to God, God himself will bring solution for you an answer for you. And God brought back Joseph and Mary together as a family. They stood with each other. When Joseph has to go to Bethlehem, Mother Mary never said, I am pregnant, I can't walk with you. She moved with her husband. And didn't God take care of her? Definitely. When a woman obeys her husband, because the husband is the head of the family, Everybody cannot take a decision. So when Mother Mary moved with St. Joseph, God took care of Mother Mary, even though she was in a very critical position of the tenth month of her pregnancy. Yes, whatever may be difficulties, obey the Lord, move with the ways of God, God will take care of you. And may St. Joseph and Mother Mary in the seat for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord.